Do 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 Hey, what's up, riders? Old man Ronan here. Welcome back to the channel. Yeah, we're walking through the shop today because we're gonna go uh, pick up a bike to ride, and uh, huh, there seems to be one missing. Hmm, wonder where it could be. There it is. <laughs> yeah, we're uh, we're gonna go out and ride the uh, 2021 Royal Enfield Meteor 350. And I'll tell you, I uh, actually got this delivered to me yesterday, and uh, I have not been on it yet. I uh, filmed a little uh, a little short uh, this morning, and uh, we're gonna have this. Uh, introduction as of now i'll tell you i love this color man i'll tell you what it's the uh, supernova version and it's the supernova brown i like to call it root beer i think it's more of a root beer color but man is it beautiful wow and uh, i'm really hyper excited to ride this bike i uh <laughs> it's one of those type of things i've not this is the first time i've sat on it before but this is the first time that i've actually going to uh to ride it so we're gonna back it up here a little bit man this thing is just so light so smooth <laughs> of course it's not running yet but man here let's uh let's check out what we've got uh one of the things I noticed when I got on the bike yesterday is it's got a different kind of a start switch. You've got your kill switch there, you've got your on, but instead of having a separate button, yeah, the little toggle there turns it on. Uh, you've got your bright switch here and your passing light there and your turn signals. Uh, I gotta cancel, but nice loud horn. And one thing that my Himalayan doesn't have is flashers emergency flashers and I think that's pretty cool uh, this has ABS which I've never ridden a bike that had ABS before so this will be interesting for me uh, but uh, it is what it is and we're gonna we're gonna take it down and get some fuel first and then we'll be right back with the video <laughs> I gotta tell you <laughs> this is going to be one of those motorcycles that it's going to make me smile. I can feel it already. Um, uh, the number one thing is I love the seating position. It's got, uh, I would say, semi-forward forward controls on. Not a lot, but my rider triangle is nice. I mean, this bike actually feels bigger uh, as far as the seating arrangement than what it really is. And that's something I think is, I, I love that. You know, when you get onto some of these smaller bikes, you feel like you're cramped. I am not cramped at all. In fact, I think I could ride this for hours and not have any issue. Uh, the seat is firm yet comfortable. Uh, I'll tell you one thing that immediately made me happy and made me smile is the, uh, the heel kicker on the shifter. I love that. And I'll put a picture down there or up in the corner here of what it looks like. Uh, that reminds me of my Road King. It reminds me of my Softail Deluxe, which I ride uh, a lot. You guys all know that. I ride Harley-Davidson's besides Royal Enfield. And uh, I'll be honest with you. This thing is... This is fun, man. <laughs> we're uh, we're going to ride around a little bit and, and t uh, talk about the first thing that pops into my head. But the first thing I wanted to talk to you about was the uh, the seating the seating stance. It's It feels cool, man. I mean, if, obviously it feels light. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm kind of a little kid when it comes to motorcycles, if you haven't guessed that. I guess that's why uh, people say I talk younger or sound younger than what I really am. Because I freaking love it, man. This is amazing. This is this is a fun little bike so far. And again, I'm, all, I'm not going to give you a review because you know I don't do, re don't do reviews until I have a thousand miles in the seat. But I'm telling you my first impression is, yeah, this is kind of fun. <laughs> Right now, I just want to ride this bike and get a feel for it. See how she feels to me. See how, uh, see what the uh, the brakes feel like when I need to come to a stop pretty good. See what the, the ride feels like. Right now, I'm not getting any vibration hardly at all. Uh, I, I do feel a little bit in my, the, the, no, the palm of my feet. Does that make sense? Uh, but I feel a little bit there at higher RPM. But like right now, nothing. And the low end torque, I mean, I, I was there in fourth gear 
doing only 25 miles an hour and just throttled up in fourth gear and it, it pulled me right through that corner and like I said that's what I wanted to see the brakes um, they're good uh, the front brake man starts or stops you really quick the back brake feels a little spongy to me but uh, um, I think that's something that uh, I, I don't know yet again I, I'm not sure how I've been riding I don't know if I'm not pushing the right way or and that'll be coming with time again when you start making a review right away on something that you're not familiar with that's the wrong thing to do and that's why you never see me do it but my first reaction there is uh, I had to push a little harder than I expected but let's see well it's got ABS too so it's not gonna lock up back down to first gear And then we do in conjunction. Let's see. Oh yeah, man, this thing stops fast. That front brake grabs, man. It grabs now. Yeah, if you're using a conjunction, you know, you're supposed to use what 60-40 anyways, or maybe even more than that, with your front brake to the rear brake. And uh, unless you're on a chopper, <laughs> they usually don't have front brakes. But man, that's that's that stopped me good. I mean, I, I guess I was doing 40, and I went down to uh, 10 mile an hour next to nothing. I'm up at high RPM going down this hill virtually no buzzing I get a little bit like I say in the balls of my feet but in the seat really smooth and again you guys got to remember this is a single cylinder thumper but it's been counterbalanced so it uh, it does have its uh, it does have its uh, the most of the vibration if you guys are used to running single cylinders out of it it's a lot smoother than the Himalayan I'll tell you that right now I mean and that's that's saying a lot because the Himalayan is not rough <laughs> not rough riding at all let's see let's get some speed going here I think the power band is on the lower end. I get more acceleration at the low part of the uh, RPM than I do the upper, which is a prime example of what a long stroke engine does. So it's doing what it's supposed to do. The long stroke engine is doing what it's supposed to do. Giving me lots of low end torque and then it smooths out as it goes. The power band kind of jumps and in, in arcs a little bit, uh, what I can feel. Yeah, it, and that's good, man. I mean, I mean, you're not going to set the world on fire with it, but that's not what it's for. This thing is for easy peasy cruising. Nice. Uh, we're going to run into a little bit of gravel here. It's more chip and seal than anything else, but it'll give me a good idea if I'm getting any shimmy shimmy shake shake on the front end. Now, it's got a 19 inch tire, not a 21. So it's not going to roll over obstacles as well as what the Himalayan does. But then again, it's not made for that. Oh, what a beautiful day, huh? We're going to get up here and get on some twisties. Now, here's the uh, chip and seal. And see how she slows down on that. Yeah. And I did a, a power jump there with the... Uh, that's all the gravel there was. I did a power jump there with the gear to see if I get a back end jump, and I did not at all. Man, I love that thump, 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 thump. <laughs> Hey, I turned the turn signals off. Yay! And let's see how she does as far as uh, trail braking going into these corners. Get that front end to load up a little bit. Yeah, she, I mean, it, it's nice. It's nice! Yeah, it swings out nice and easy. very nimble very very nimble I 
there's always gravel in this corner right here. I don't see any today. That's good. Man, it shifts nice. I, I don't have that hard clunk and it, it shifts really smooth. The clutch lever is let's see I mean I mean it's really light I mean wow the uh, throttle response is good uh, it's it's really good Wow She handles the corners really nice. I wonder if we can get a uh, a rev bomb in here. Well, let's try it. <laughs> we'll open the uh, visor up and see if we can hear it any better. Because we're going through our little famous little tunnel here. Here we go, let's see. Oh yeah. Better a rev bomb than a beep bomb. <laughs> Man, this thing shifts so nice and easy. And it's beautiful here, isn't it? Don't you wish you lived in this part of Ohio? We're gonna go. Let's see how she does on the highway. There's 60. 65. And I just got into fifth gear there. Almost 70. There's 70. Let's see what else we can get out of her. Like I say, we're not going to go very long at this speed. But she will do 70. We've got it right there. I think that's about it. I'm going to back her down a little bit. She, again, I weigh uh, over 230 pounds. And uh, 60 mile an hour, this thing is... I mean, it's, it's similar to the Himalayan. You can hit 70 in that as well, too. And if you're going downhill with the wind at your back, 75. <laughs> but the reality of it is, this bike is built for light cruising. And whether it's in the city, commuting, back country roads, back roads, uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it's ready for the, uh, for the gravel, given the fact that it has uh, street tires on it, and uh, that's not really uh, the place for it. But man, for everything else, yeah, I just wanted to see how she would perform there, here on the highway. We're gonna hop off here pretty soon, but it's, uh, it is what it is. It'll do it. This thing is fun though, man, I'll tell you. Oh, it's so light. Man, the worst thing I could do right now is jump on my Road King. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. <laughs> wow. Because this thing is so light and nimble and fun. And it's tall. I mean, it's... Yeah, you know, it's it's a lot taller than the Road King. Not as tall as the Himalayan, but then again, that's an adventure style bike. See, this part of the highway is only 60 miles an hour, and this bike is going to have no issue getting up there to it. Yeah, 
right there. I wish I knew what my uh, RPMs were. Again, the only reason for is for you guys, not for uh, not for me personally. But that way you could see where how hard the engine is working at these higher speeds. But right here at 60, it's not working hard at all. I mean, I don't hear it. When I was doing 70, I could hear her. She was going, hey, I don't want to speed up this much too longer. You know, it's kind of like doing sprints when you're in high school. Yeah, that's what it was like. And you couldn't wait to stop running. <laughs> Well, I really hope you enjoyed this video today of my first impressions and my thumbs up first impressions of the Royal Enfield Meteor 350 in Supernova Brown. I'll tell you, this bike is a blast and I've been smiling ever since I got on it. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping beyond hope that these motorcycles sell as well and people don't look at the size 350 and go, that's too small. It's not, man. It runs great. Is it a freaking sport bike no come on get it get over yourself but man for a light cruiser this thing's comfortable well if you enjoyed it make sure you give us a big thumbs up make sure you subscribe hit that bell notification button share and comment you know i read all the comments and comment on as many as i possibly can don't forget about the uh, max hd eyewear giveaway we already had one winner, and thanks and congratulations to Chad Zimmerman. He was our very first winner. And we're going to run it through uh, a lot of the fall here. So until next time, guys, ride safe, enjoy this beautiful weather we've got going on, and keep her on two wheels, baby.